I hear, I hear what I hear what you're saying. Do you know any young, any fledgling artists that you're kind of coaching along or advising? No, not really, but I'll be glad to coach anyone that comes my way. <laughs> what would you say was the best, the, what would you have to, what do you, mm, let me ask the right question, it's not going to be on there. What advice, what's the best way to learn art? What, what reckon, you know, what advice would you give for someone who wants to learn how to paint? I would say look at the great masters such as Rembrandt and um, El Greco and of course Titian and of course the Renaissance was such an explosion of great work that if you examine each period of art and see what the artists were seeking then you would learn more about how they had their journey in art and this will assist you in your journey because everyone has to find who they are and then create the art that is that it reflects who they are. Yes. But I know that the great masters had a lot of uh, things happen to them. They had a lot of tragedies, a lot of challenges. For example, people don't really realize it, but the statue of David was actually a piece of, of marble that was thrown in the city dump outside the city. And uh, you would be surprised what great artists can do with throwaways or tossaways. And of course, there's nothing more beautiful than the statue of David. Is there one particular artist that you're inspired by his or her work? that maybe that you don't that you don't try to clone them but maybe the techniques you know you've followed some of the techniques you used some some of the same techniques that they used in creating your art well i do love rembrandt uh, he had such beautiful ways of creating lights and shadows and i do like the drama of caravaggio um, of course leonardo is one of my favorite because he had done so much uh, in many medias that he tried and sometimes failed before he was successful. And we always remember The Last Supper and what a fantastic picture that is in your mind and so many people grow up with that. Um, of course I love Michelangelo but he was of course a sculptor but still that's such a wonderful artist to be connected with. So just study and I think that that is the most important thing is to uh, find something that connects with you. But the chiaroscuro of Rembrandt and the uh, Renaissance artist were m some of my favorite. If you could be, tra if there was a time machine you could be transported back in time, where would you, and, and to, where would you like to what Pro time? Probably the Renaissance because I think that there was so much discovery, a period of discovery, and I think that uh, instead of you painting for the hierarchy or painting for the aristocracy, that the Renaissance, because of the, disco the discovery period, you had more freedom to discover. It's really good, so it's see it's good to be a little